This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. This is what we're making today. Dragon Beard Noodles. We're gonna begin by making a hand-pulled noodle dough. In a bowl of all-purpose flour, we're gonna throw in a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna stir the salt in and then add in 130 milliliters of warm water. We're gonna slowly mix the flour in with the water until it forms a ball. Then, we're gonna knead it for at least 10 minutes or until we have a nice smooth ball. When it's all done, your ball should feel a little bit moist. Once it's all done, we're gonna wrap it in saran wrap and let it rest for 2 hours. So while we wait, let's go on a quick commercial break. This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. I've been a professional chef for over a decade. And because of my profession, I've gained quite a bit of weight, especially now that I'm in my 30s. A couple of months ago, a co-worker introduced Magic Spoon to me. That's why I was so excited when Magic Spoon approached me and wanted to work with me. I couldn't wait to share to the world about its benefits and how it's helped me. By implementing the Magic Spoon cereal into my diet, I was able to maintain a healthy weight over the months. Because of its high protein, low calorie, and low carb count, along with other benefits, made managing my macros daily much easier. But that's not all. Magic Spoon has multiple unique flavors that allowed me not to just eat it for breakfast, but also as snacks. So if you're looking for a delicious and healthy alternative, this is the cereal for you. Order now at magicspoon.com slash chefmar and get $5 off the variety pack. Now shipping in Canada and the UK. Next, we're gonna butcher a whole chicken. First, we're gonna take off its head by chopping off its neck. Then, we're gonna take off these wings. We're gonna grab the drumette, which is attached to the shoulder, and then pop it out. We're then going to take a knife and then simply slice it off. And that's how easy it is to take off a wing. Now, we're going to do it on both sides. Next, we're gonna take off the feet. We're gonna grab the chicken by the feet and then snap off the kneecap. And just like the wings, we're gonna slice it off. Now, we're gonna take off the thigh and leg. First, we're gonna slice off the skin from the thigh and the breast. Then, we're gonna grab the chicken by the thigh and pop the joint right out. At this point, we're simply gonna slice the thigh off the hip. And lastly, we're gonna take off the backbone from the breastplate. For this one, we're gonna use scissors. We're gonna take the backbone off by cutting through the ribs and wishbone and then snapping it off the breastplate. Once our chicken has been butchered, we're gonna lay it all into cold water. We're then going to turn the heat up, bring it to a simmer, and skim all the scum off. We don't want to bring this soup up to a rolling boil or it'll make it cloudy and the chicken dry. So be patient with this process because this is what will make your soup nice and clear. Once we've cleared the soup, we're going to add in half a cup of Shaoshan wine, some ginger, green onions, dried shiitake mushrooms, and goji berries. We're going to let this simmer off for 2 hours. At this point, our dough should have been well rested. We're now going to flour our surface and then knead this dough for another 20 minutes. To get the elasticity of a hand-pulled noodle, we need to work this dough. But don't get it twisted guys, I'm not gonna hand-pull this dough, I don't have that kind of skill. All I'm trying to do is mimic its chewiness. Once the dough is nice and smooth, we're gonna cut it into 4 pieces. We're gonna take one of the pieces, roll it into a ball, flatten it out, and then put it through a pasta machine. We're going to try to make these noodles as thin as possible, just like dragon beard noodles. So we're going to flatten it out as much as we can. We're going to put it through the first setting two times. Once it's gone through twice, we're going to fold the dough, 
and then put it through twice again. This is called fortifying your dough. This will make your dough much stronger and much more elastic. Once it's gone through twice, we're going to put it through each setting two times until we get it as thin as we possibly can. At this point, our dough has stretched up to 4 feet. We're going to cut it in half. Now that our dough is much shorter, we're going to put it through our ramen cutter. And these are our dragon beard noodles. This recipe got me 8 small portions. After 3 hours of simmering, it's time to cut up the chicken. Our chicken should have become nice and soft, so soft that we could cut through the bone. We're simply going to take our butcher knife and hack right through it. Now we're going to make our broth. In a small pan, we're going to add in some sesame oil and green onions. We're going to saute this off for about 30 seconds and then add in our broth. Once all of the broth has been added in, we're going to season it with some salt, soy sauce, and MSG to taste. And then finally, the very last thing we're going to do is cook off our noodles. This should only take about 30 seconds in boiling water. Make sure that the water is heavily seasoned with salt or your noodles will be bland. And once your noodles are ready, let's get ready to plate. The whole time I was making this, I was craving this. Even when I'm editing it right now, I'm craving it. This is what you call a chicken noodle soup. This is not like that American shit that you get in a can. This is actual chicken and noodles in a really good soup. As for the noodles, I was supposed to hand pull them. Unfortunately, I don't have that kind of skill, so I had to use a pasta machine. But to be honest, the noodles are still quite chewy and it did do the job. Overall, I thought this was a really good dish. This is something I think you should try at home. This is one of those dishes that will comfort you in a nice cold rainy day. Anyways, that's it for this episode. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.